Hello, everyone. This is Southern Bell Whisper. I hope you all are doing well today. I kind of want to get back in the groove of making my top 10 series every Sunday, like I told you guys I would. So today, I am coming back to you with a top 10. I hope you guys don't mind. It's not really uh, original. <laughs> I think the last video I did was the top 10 too. But uh, your girl is going to the doctor tomorrow. I don't know what's been going on with me, but I still, I still can't hear. Barely. I mean, I can hear a little bit, but I can barely hear. And I've just had all this sinus trouble. I've I've discussed that with you guys about my sinus troubles that I've been having. So tomorrow I'm going to the doctor, and hopefully he can do something. Uh, numero numero is my hearing. Like I cannot stand the feeling of not being able to hear. Uh, so uh, I would love some good vibes sent my way because I'm kind of nervous because it's been going on for so long at least a year and it just worries me that it's something more serious than it is um, but I'm keeping the faith that it's just something that I need to take medicine for and something that hopefully he can do to help me out with my hearing. So, but today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite things, and that is books. You guys know I love books. I've discussed that in so many videos. So I am going to be doing my top 10 favorite books as of right now. Now this list can change. Any moment it can change. Uh, these are just books that I could see myself rereading over and over and over. Um, the book, these books have changed me and just made, have really influenced my life. And I just love them. And oh, also. I do have another microphone coming. I forgot who made the comment on one of my videos, but they said you should try out other microphones. And so I was on Timu, you guys know I love Timu, and they had a microphone on there for like really cheap. And so I tried it, I will try it. And hopefully it's as, just as good as the Blue Yeti, but we shall see. I hope you guys like the ambiance that I've tried to. This is my view from my bedroom. Um, I haven't gotten, my bedroom is a work in progress. Um, I haven't got uh, curtain rods yet, so uh, <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know. I'm winging it right now, uh, but there's a nice breeze coming in through the window. Um, it wasn't warm enough to put my air conditioner in today, but it was cool enough to leave my window open. And I love a good, fresh, natural breeze. And everything's getting green outside, as you can see, and it's beautiful, and I wanted to share it with you guys. But, so... Let it, okay, let's get started. These are in no particular order. So even though number one is number one, and number 10 is number 10, doesn't mean that you know, I love them any less than the other. Okay, number one I read last year, and I have to reread it again, is Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingslover. That book, was amazing. Uh, it, a long book. 
I think that book was like 600 pages. Uh, but I, like, I, it was like, the book was like water and I was thirsty in the desert. Like, I ate it up. And, you know, being with somebody that was a drug addict and then reading about a drug addict and, you know, what they went through in the book and everything, it, it kind of, uh, I saw the similarities, kind of. But uh, pretty much Deepak Harperhead, if you haven't read it, it's a book about, it's been so long since I've read it. Uh, this boy is, uh, was raised by a single mother. They live in a trailer. And, and then I think something happens to the mother and he goes to a foster home. Or like his coach fosters him. And he becomes really good friends with the coach's daughter. And then... He gets in a relationship, and they both bond over their love of drugs, and it's just amazing. Like, I do not do it justice at all. Um, it was funny. It was heartwarming. It was intense. It was real. I mean, everything that you would love to read in a book is in this book. You've got to read it. Like, I don't give many books uh, 10 out of 10, but this book was 10 out of 10. It actually, I'm going to have to read it soon. I'm trying to take a break. Uh, you guys know I was reading the Court of the Woods of Roses series over again, but uh, I took a break and I'm reading uh, another book right now I'll talk about soon. Uh, it, you know, kind of taking a break, and then I'm going to read uh, The Starlight, Frost and Starlight, and The Silver Flames. i got two more books left, um, but yeah, Steam and Copperhead, so good, so good. Okay, number two, speaking of The Court of Thorns and Roses, number two is The Court of Mist and Fury. This book, oh, for one thing, Jubilee Whispers, she told me so many times, she was like, you've got to read this series. I'd never read, other than Harry Potter, of course, uh, I, I'd never read a fantasy series before. And I going into it, I was like, am I going to like this? I mean, this is about fairies. Oh, you guys. I'm so obsessed. Like, when it comes to fantasy, uh, other than Harry Potter, it's one of my favorites book series. And I love The Court of Mist and Fury because you're introduced to all the awesome characters like Rosanne. Let's not even. Rosanne has ruined me for any man in the future that may come into my life. Like, I think I'm just happy with having a uh, not quite relationship with a fictional character, but like he has ruined me for other men. Like I'm at the point right now that where I'm like, I don't need a man. You know, I'm like, okay, all, all I can read about is about Rizand and I'll be fine. Or Reese, Reese, Rizand, whatever. And then there's Cassie, and there's Ezreal, there's Moore, there's Amberin. There's so many awesome characters in the book. Such world building. Like, that's another thing. Reading this series, I thought I'd get so confused. Because your girl, uh, I don't have like the biggest brain in the world. And sometimes world building can really confuse me. But the way it mentions Valerius which is the city of starlight. Oh my gosh. Like that is my home right there. Or the night court. Um, oh, like I would love to decorate my whole bedroom and night court stuff like that's, I was actually really thinking of getting 
uh, spending a hundred dollars on curtains on Etsy that has the night court insignia on it. Like that's how obsessed I am, but I'm not going to do it. Don't worry, mama. I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> I'm, I'm just oh, so freaking obsessed with this series. Oh, so obsessed. Okay. Number three is Prister at Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. Harry Potter will always be my first love. I got my bag. Oh gosh. Let's see, got my bag. That's one of the things that I ended up, a handful of things that I ended up uh, taking with me when I escaped from my toxic relationship. Um, like, I can literally count my hand all the things that I took with me. And I don't know how uh, it just ended up in the car with us. And I don't know how it got there. But I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, God. Because I love it. Uh, Prince of Azkaban is my favorite Harry Potter book. Uh, because I love the way they introduced uh, Sirius Black. Uh, uh, things kind of get a little bit darker. In that book, you know, starts to get dark a little bit. And then Lupin, Lupin is my, one of my favorite professors. Um, I just love it. I just, it's it's perfect. It just, I just love it. Okay, number four is A Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown. I've mentioned to you guys in past videos, I love A Piece of Cake by Cupcake Brown. Uh, I got this book at a library when I was going to college uh, because the the binding on the book just looks so interesting. It's lime green, and and then when I pulled it off the shelf, it had sprinkles all over it. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be a book about cake, you know, because your girl's you know fat. So and I love food. So, uh, <laughs> but it was nothing like cake. Like, she, that was, <laughs> what this woman went through, but that she persevered, oh, it, it's my favorite memoir of all time. If you guys have not read it, please pick it up. It's so worth the price of whatever you gotta pay for it. Just know going in, it's very intense, and she has a potty mouth. And it's very, it's very intense, so it's not necessarily a happy book, but Cupcake, she cracks me up, the way she talks, like, I, I found myself actually laughing in parts because of the way she talks, it's so funny, but yes, my favorite book more. Number five is Redeeming Love by Francie Rivers. I've kind of been not reading rom-coms lately, like, you know, before I left my ex, I was a big rom-com girl, but, like, I haven't been watching that be or reading that be rom-coms, but Redeeming Love is one of my favorite love stories of all time. It's based on the biblical story, uh, Gomar and Hosea, where, um, Hosea, I can't remember which one's the girl, which one's the boy, but she was a prostitute, and he saved her, and even though she kept going back to being a prostitute numerous times, he still went back and saved her, and it's just such a, in the book, they just make it seem like she has to find herself, you know, she has to forgive herself. She has to work through these demons that she has in her life. It's just so beautiful. Fancy Rivers is such a great Christian author. Uh, beautiful writing. Love her. Number six <laughs> is A Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Uh, the reason this book is on the list is because I remember I read it at least five times. Um, I loved it. Uh, I love the movie too. I have to rewatch the movie because I haven't watched it since uh, 
since I, I left. And, uh, but uh, hopefully I'll be strong enough one day to watch it because I love the movie as well. Um, but the book, the book made me cry so hard. And the movie made me cry so hard. And it's just one of my favorite tearjerker love stories. Number seven. This one I haven't read in years, but I remember loving it. Is The Sugar Queen by Sarah Addison Allen. Um, don't ask me to give a synopsis on it. All I know is this girl, I think they describe her as heavy set, kind of obsessed with treats. And has a mom that's like, oh, you shouldn't eat stuff like that. And then a ghost or a girl ends up in her closet and starts visiting her. And then she has a crush. The girl has a crush on uh, the post guy, the postman guy. His name is Adam. And they have like this really beautiful scene in the snow where they make snow angels. That's like one of my core memories because it was written so beautifully and I just love that love story between them. Um, oh, such a good book. Number eight. <laughs> this is a new favorite and that is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. Punk 57 was a book that introduced me to dark romance. Uh, it definitely had a lot. Like, I had to say a bunch of prayers after reading this book. But I loved the way that it was written. It wasn't really... I didn't... It wasn't really... What's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't really... Um, like, you knew what was going to happen type of book. And I love Misha. Huge crush on Misha. Uh, he's another one of my fictional boyfriends. Um, I just thought it was written really, really well. It was sexy. It was funny. It was... And, but also kind of taught me a lesson in a way. That you should never pretend to be something that you're not. And I think that's great too. Man, I put a lot of rom-coms on here. Number nine is The Unhoneymooners by Christine Lauren. This is like an enemies to lovers type of story that I read a few years ago and I loved it. I read it twice. Um, it was just so funny. So, had me laughing out loud. I love books that make me laugh. And it was... You know, it was kind of, it was kind of like you knew what was going to happen, but it was, it was, um, uh, fun. That's all I can say. Okay, number 10 is Unbroken by Laura Hellenbrand. This book is also a memoir about Louis Zamberini. He was a air pilot uh, in the war and his plane was shot down and he was stuck in the ocean for 47 days, him and his crewmates, and then he was captured by the Japanese. And, ah, oh, this is another one that I need to reread. Such a great book about redemption. Such a great book about surviving. And about the human spirit. And just... Oh, man. How our bodies can be broken. But our, nothing can ever break our spirit. You guys, I just thought of that. I think I'm pretty good. I need to start writing this shit down. You know? Uh... <laughs> Um, the, the movie was pretty good, but the book was amazing. 
Anyways, that is my top 10 favorite books of, as of right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be feeling so much better once I have a microphone. Um, but hopefully next video I will have it. And please let me know what your favorite books are. Because I have my Kindle. And I'm always looking for different kinds of books to read. So, I love you guys. I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.